Welcome to Jay Plays Any Games. This is FTL again. We lost our save file from before. So unfortunately it looks like uh, I'm going to have to start a new game. I decided to start with the Zoltan ship this time. Uh, so let's let's check this out. We're going to go over here and over here. Zoltan ship starts short on energy but high on Zoltan to kind of make up for it. It's really, really not enough. Uh, the only thing that's good for this ship is these extra shields you get at the beginning of a fight. But they can go down rather quickly if you start facing against beam weapons and stuff like this. Uh, ion blasters and the pike beam. This pike beam is awesome. It's awesome from the beginning of the game and it's awesome through to the end of the game. So that's, that's the real advantage I find of this ship is you've got this already from the start. One damage per room, you can do like five damage with it. This is just a great weapon throughout the game. The two Ion Blasts are okay. Ion Blast level two is way better. Jump. There's a store immediately that's useless right now, so we're gonna go to... Um, I guess we really should go back here. And hopefully we can jump far enough forward from there. All right, what is at our first location? Uh, nothing. Oil refinery, several factories, standing empty, no life signs. Kind of a waste of time. Alright, go this way then. We're flying around, trying to do what we can do to survive. I will survive. Oh, it's Mantis, why? Okay, they don't have any, uh, they don't have what they, uh, they would have to have to make me cry. A teleporter. All non-Mantis ships that enter our territory are forfeit, lower your shields, and surrender if you value your lives. Mantis without a teleporter, you're pretty weak. Um, I'm going to be taking out your weapon system, I'm going to be taking out your shield system, and I'm going to be utterly destroying you with a beam cannon. That crosses like five rooms. So, welcome to dying, Mantis ship. Welcome to dying. Um, your weapons would actually be pretty effective against me if they could ever pierce my shields. I, I am mocking you at this point. Oh, Mantis ship, my Mantis ship, why are you so weak and pathetic? Because you're the first guys I'm facing, that's why. And I, I actually appreciate it. I appreciate facing something that can't really hurt me early on. Yeah, they can they can dimp into these shields a bit, but these shields are strong except against beam weapons. Beam weapons utterly annihilate these shields, if I remember correctly. And I think I do. Uh, Pike Beam did its job. Everything on the enemy ship is damaged, and for the most part, he is out of commission. When the Pike Beam fires again... It will be game over. So, taking him down, keeping the, keeping his shields offline so my pipe beam can actually get through. Uh, when, later on, there I'm going to be requiring two, more than two ion blasts to get that pipe beam through. So I want missiles or something. Missiles are always very good. I start with zero though. It's kind of upsetting. Uh, two missiles, 12 scrap, one fuel. Excellent. It's a good start. Actually, my start was empty. It was terrible. But it's a good second location anyway. Uh, I do need to save up about a hundred scrap, I believe. You spot a small rebel ship nearby. It seems to have been refitted for transport rather than combat. It does not seem to want to engage you. Demand surrender. You prepare to scour to the ship, secure their cargo before it's fine. They look like they don't want to fight. They're trying to escape. Not fine. No escape for you, my friend. Okay, ion blast on their engines and their shields actually this engine it's not really an engine and make sure their pike beam goes all the way through all of this excellent now tell me this is a defense drone mark one and I'll be happy so mark two I just cry home and let these guys escape I suppose uh, yes everything is aimed in the correct location Probably switch two and one if I was smart. It's gonna take a little while for their. Uh... Oh, that that went perfectly fine. Okay, so with their captain seat out of commission, I believe they will not be able to charge their FTL drive. My pike beam will be bearing down upon them, just like that, and no charging FTL drive for these guys. Uh, we can start taking out their engines, I believe, with our second shot as well. And I'll change the pike beam to hitting all of this instead. Yes, just like that. So it does 5 damage, so they'll get wiped out with the next fire, I believe. Could be incorrect, but I don't think I am. When the pike beam does decide to come back online. Which 
Oh no! Pause. Don't don't fire my pike beam. Don't fire. All right, ion blast. You fire. No, I wasted the pike beam shot. All right, turn auto fire back on. Dang it! That's the only problem with auto fire. Uh, every now and again, your beams will be wasted uselessly against the enemy. But that's fine. It's, it's how it works. Oh, all right. We need to keep their engines and their shields offline. So there we go. As long as we can keep their engines and their shields offline, they won't be able to escape. We don't want them. Oh, our shields are down as well, which is kind of an issue. Pike beam ready and destroy, I think. Yes. All right, right there. When you fire, yes. Good, good, good. Bye-bye, enemy ship. Uh, he only hit me once. He turned off my O2, though. That's something that needs paying attention to. Uh, some fuel, some missiles, some scrap. Excellent. All right. So we're going to repair our O2 before we get in too much trouble here. And while that's happening, I'm going to look at my ship. I need about 100. 120, actually. I need to increase my power as well. So I need about 90 scrap to get real shields on this ship. As things stand, I have sort of non-recharging shields that beam weapons take down in rather a hurry. It does make the Zoltan cruisers technically the best cruisers at the end game because they're the only ones with these shields, but still. Uh, well, I guess the Federation cruisers are quite nice as well. Okay, jump, because they're the only ones with that weapon of theirs that is crazy powerful. Uh, let's go down here. It looks like there's not enough stars in the system, or at least not in the direction I decided to go, to, uh, to min-max, really. An especially well-armed pirate ship approaches you. Hand over one of your crew members, and the rest of you can go free unharmed. Draw straws, or we'll never surrender our crew to slavers. Of course we'll never surrender our crew to slavers. This is one of the rare instances where it's okay to, uh... Yeah, we'll, we'll do like that, because it hits the most rooms, I think. I think I can actually get this to hit six. If I go here... Like that? Is that one, two, three, four, five, six? Yes, it is. If it goes through all of them. And I think it does. Um, yes. Okay, and we're going to aim our ion blast at their weapon systems and their shield systems. Okay. What I was saying was, uh, I have actually no idea anymore, so we'll completely forget that train of thought. No. Um, this is Old Town Cruiser. It's good, though, because my Pike Beam can take down their shields. I believe that's what I was going with. All, this, all of these Ion Blasts are going to take out their shields as well. Pretty hard. Um, this Pike Beam is not going to do too well against their shields. So maybe I should hold off on the Pike Beam until these next Ion Blasts go off. Let that fire, and then fire out my pike beam, because I think these ion blasts can... Oh, it missed. Okay, their shields are down. Good. So, once again, hit six rooms. With this blast, yes. Powering up his FTL, that's fine, I suppose. They've only got one hull left. Their doors are out of commission. A lot of their stuff's out of commission. We're going to ion blast their engines. And... They don't even have a... Uh, Oh, this guy. We're going to Iron Blast this as well. Actually, let's aim at their weapons. I'm pretty sure we'll get another shot off before their FTL comes online. We can't open our doors. All right, you go here. And you go here and fight the fire manually. That's terrifying. Oh, God. That's really terrifying now. I mean, it was bad before. Having Zoltans do this is terrible because they have less health than everybody. All right, he can't shoot anymore, which is good. My doors are broken, so I can't just let the uh, let the fire out. These guys are gonna have to go to med bay. My my pike beam needs to fire and end this this horrible thing. This is why you need shields. Terrible things happen when you don't have shields. You go to the O2 because our O2 is dropping dramatically. Fuel three, scrap twenty one. That's not great either. Um. So yes, you're my. That guy, you are my captain. Oh, captain, my captain. And you are 
My engine man. That's fine. You guys need to finish those repairs before we all suffocate. You can go ahead and go to med bay. My engine man. And oh captain, my captain, you need to get to the pilot chair as soon as you finish making us not all die. Good. Thank you for that. So it, taking out enemy ships before uh, my shield goes down would probably be excellent. I need another shield. That's what I'm saying. My one shield is not enough. Alright, we're heading to the engine room. And you are heading to the pilot's seat. Alright. Are we ready to jump, guys? I think we're ready to jump. Yes. Alright, we're going to go up here. We've got a lot of fuel, actually, for this stage of the game, I think. Uh, our evade percent's about 20. It's not the best. Uh, you arrive in a sector and you're greeted by a science vessel. They hail you, we find ourselves low on fuel. And we have a proposition. Fuel for drone parts. No! Not at all. Not even into consideration, really. Uh, yes, I'll go this way. I hate being in nebulas when I don't have at least one slug crew member. It's pretty miserable. Uh, this beacon, civilian space station, no one hails your ship. How annoying. Can I just attack them? I want scrap. It's a horrible thing to say. I'm supposed to be the good guys, I think. But I really want, I want scrap. I want more scrap. I need like 70 more right now. Uh, reject their offer. They're, they're trying to actually get, no. No. You silly billies. Uh, we'll attack their shields as well as their weapons. And our pike beam will hit... I don't see a way to do six rooms at once, but we will get five. There we go. Five very important rooms, actually. I like it when they are all together like that. Hmm. Alright. Ion blast charging up. Pike beam charging up. And we will sit back and kind of relax. There's nothing we can do about the fact that they're going to severely damage our shields with their weapons if their weapons hit. Alright, so... Whew! Missed. Good. Alright, they have a beam of their own, which severely damages our own shield system. But uh, we're going to get our firing off. Very good. I really, really like the pike beam. I cannot state that enough. Pike beam is one of my favorite things in this world. Uh, the pike beam. Okay. Even though I'm kind of wasting a lot of the line that it takes, actually. But still, two fires will uh, be enough to take it out. We'll take this rebel rigger out. One more shot from the pike beam. All it takes. Later on, it's, it's actually still very useful. As long as you can take down their shields and still have a beam weapon. Uh, missiles make it very useful. Oh, 15 scrap. Very nice. I don't want to go to the end yet, so I'm going to go ahead and go up here. Uh, yeah, it's far too early to go to the exit. I am nowhere near powerful enough for the, the first end of the station. Buy 6 fuel for 12 scrap. Yes. A long-term proposition that is very good. Uh, I'm very much hoping that this will allow me to jump down. If it doesn't, I am kind of screwing myself. I don't want to be here. Let me leave. Nope. Pirates. Idiotic pirates. Okay. Uh, well, we're going to take down your shields and your weapons. And we're going to burn you. But if you take out our shields, we are totally screwed. Um, and I mean totally. Well, let's readjust this a bit. Make sure we're getting all five rooms here. Yes. Okay. Um... Like, seriously? Seriously. Screwed. I hate the ne being next to the sun. Something I'm going to do while I'm here is just open all doors. Like that. Close this door, close this door, and close this door. And this door. Okay. That will reduce our damage from fire, I think. Not our actual damage from the fire, but our... Uh, the amount of fires that start as a result. Yes, O2 is quite low, but our ship members themselves are fine, and our enemy will die when the solar flare occurs, or at least be severely damaged. There's no way I'm going to fire off my last shot before that flare, unfortunately. 
At least I don't think so. Maybe I can get out of here. It would be really nice if I could do it. Uh, he won't get any more shots on me, so at least I'll have my Zoltan shields to protect me. I don't know how effective that is. Oh, here comes the solar flare. It's going to hurt. It's going to hurt so much. I'm going to be so upset at all the fire and one hit dead enemy, but could not escape the solar flare, which is fine. There's no oxygen on this ship. Uh, fuel, missiles, scrap, yay. And with no oxygen, these fires will go out fairly soon. And hopefully I can leave this sector pretty soon. Uh, so let's close our doors. Yes, please. All the doors are closed and we can jump. Good, we can jump down to this distress signal. I was so worried. Okay, good. Our O2 is a bit low. I hope people jump aboard my ship. No, I really don't. That's like the super weakness of the Zoltan. An NG scout. Uh, once you arrive at the location of the distress call, a civilian ship hails you. Thanks for responding to our beacon. Our FTL navigation has gone haywire. We can't plot a course to the nearest depot to get it fixed. Could you lead us there? Of course I could. Give me straight at uh, eight scrap and a quest marker. Very nice. And jump to the exit. I believe I can make it to the exit. I hope I don't fi end up fighting a Federation cruiser. And it looks like I don't. It looks like I don't. I don't. Good. FDL drives charge. You can jump to the next sector. Advanced Rebel Scout. Automated ship. Remain stationed near a small Rebel space station. Sensors indicate it's a storage vessel for military goods. Yes, I want the storage cache. No, I don't want you shooting at me before I get a chance to shoot at you. Uh, it's fine. It means he has no shields, no protection from my uh, my pike beam. He'll get these shots off, but uh, his missiles can't go through my Zoltan shield. So I should be able to ion blast out his uh, his weapons long before he gets a real chance at me, which is nice. Okay. So how are we going to do this? Damage as many systems as possible or damage the key systems? Let's damage the key systems. So we're going to leave out the stealth system. And we're going to do four damage like this. Uh, make sure that it works that way, like that. Okay, so four damage. We're going to ion blast this and his stealth system. And I think that we'll be fine. I don't think his missiles will pierce. We should be able to get our pike beam off before he gets another shot. Thanks largely to our ion blasters. And we're going to find out right now. Nope, no missing. Oh, they didn't both go down though, which is a big problem. Uh, yeah, we're going to switch both to firing on that then. Because we do not want... Yeah, we don't want exactly what just happened there to happen. We want him damaged and dead. Excellent. Okay, our next piping blast will take him down. And I believe our ion blasters will keep him out of commission long enough that we don't have to worry about him. We've taken a bit of hull damage on this first run. I don't like that. Typically I'm used to my shields kind of keeping me from that. Having to pay for the very first shield thing is is kind of a, a hard thing. i take a sip of water here. Ah. Uh, so with our first sector completed, right after this fight, I am... Uh, I'm probably going to end this episode, actually, after this fight. Maybe one sector per episode kind of thing. Uh, it'll make the series a bit longer, and it's kind of fluffing that way, and I don't really like that. But uh, two sectors is really too long, and I don't want to stop in the middle of a sector. Uh, I really, really don't want to do... Ooh, investigate the station after getting 17 strap. Station was either... Nothing in the station. Okay, fair enough. I really, really, really don't want a uh, another two hour run so where are we gonna go we can go to an NG controlled sector or an uncharted nebula that's a no-brainer we're going to the NG I I hate nebulas with a burning passion burning burning passion maybe we can get enough scrap here to get our first layer of shields up uh, stock up for your journey here alright guys this has been Jay with Jay Plays Indie Games thanks for watching